welcome today we are going to see how the petri plates will be filled with agar medium and uh, for, uh, these are already autoclave plates which i have packed and properly autoclaved with the proper autoclave technique this is agar medium and this is broth which we are going to subculture this bacterial culture first we will pour this agar medium into the plates and solidify then we can subculture for tomorrow work and unwrap the first plates which was being see the how we unwrap the plates with the proper paper so that no atma water vapor will be entering into the petri plates even to prevent the uh, or to absorb the any water vapor when entered inside you can place some tissue paper inside the petri plates and this waste like after usage you can put it to the which is your left side and whatever the things you are using you can put towards your right and uh, before you unwrap so you see how your spirit lamp is firing off and uh, then you can work properly in some labs you can use only lab or only spirit lamp but in our lab it is a protocol that we, we use both because uh, for some time we will be using a uh, lab um, uh, uh, spirit lamp for um, burning up the cotton fibrils left off inside the thing so we will keep it uh, as per as of our protocol and after placing it uh, open up the petri plates from petri dishes then you can uh, start pouring uh, make it sure make sure your uh, every plates were uh, open towards your lap and uh, and uh, before plating uh, we should properly mix the agar solution so that the agar which is got settled under uh, will be properly dissolved from topmost layer to the top bottom so after properly placing we can um, mix it so and one more thing i can tell you is your elbow up to your elbow it should be inside the lab so that to decrease the contaminations means uh, if you bring your hands out means that means like uh, your plates are coming out towards your external environment so before pouring we are just uh, see how we wrapped it without uh, to prevent the any water vapor entering in and uh, properly rubber band it and tape it uh, so that no nothing will be entered uh, here broth we are taking out and then we will take out the agar safely and carefully because if you are breaking it that's all you have one uh, you have one two hours work fail so properly mix it and uh, show some flame so that it will get still hot and after properly mixing off then only we have to take off the cotton plug and uh, make sure that your medium is not touching the cotton plug um, and now it's okay properly uh, dissolved and mixed equally now remove your the top labor brand and then see how tight we have made it that is how we should make to prevent the any water vapor entering and now uh, this is the paper how we wrapped so after wrapping we just rubber band it so uh, so now i'll screw it up because if there are any fibrils attached that also will uh, adhere to the cotton plug and this paper the same paper this is very so hot so i cannot hold it so i just made some uh, support and uh, to keep the hotness away from my hand so that i can pour complete media show some fire so that any cotton fibrils will burn off the cotton fibrils may cause contaminations a later so that is the reason so start pouring until the complete plate is filled so if completely fair clip place if plate is filled then it is like 20 to 25 ml you can just calculate accordingly uh, according to the uh, media they have given uh, they will give us to uh, 
dissolved the same amount i have dissolved and pour uh, pouring in it and it will be stated on the uh, um, media bottles which was sold by external companies and uh, it will be different according to each different uh, after pouring off you just uh, keep a bit of plate open so that the any water vapors will come out that water vapors will not uh, cause us any contaminations and uh, finally we came into an end after getting dissolved and if you have to mix the plates properly by rounding it uh, and then you can uh, leave it by awning the uv for some time thank you fine